Hey guys, Steve here with CentroTech, and today we're talking about the Erica Sense open source Polyvox voltage controlled filter. And um, this thing is a really, really cool version of the Polyvox filter. Let's go over here and check it out here as it tries to autofocus here, obviously, right here. Beautiful product, um, made really great by Erica Sense. Um, we, we really thank uh, the guys over there for making this available to everybody open source. Um, let's just kind of go through the features here and the controls. Uh, we got a large cutoff, ooh, um, large cutoff frequency knob. We've got a band pass and low pass switch. Um, when you're in low pass, um, uh, you can uh, uh, also switch that up to band pass without getting that click. They updated that. Also, the cutoff is expanded. Um, you've got an audio input level, of course. That's just how hot your input coming in here is going to be. You've got a resonance, which if you crank it all the way up or even uh, partially the way up, it gets gnarly and growly and um, perfect for for um, acid bass lines. Um, you've got a CV input one, CV input two, and um, a, a, a control... Um, uh, an amount control for each one of those inputs. Really fun to be able to mix like an LFO in with your sequence or something like that on CV or excuse me, with like an envelope and you get it. Uh, anyway, it, it sounds really cool, really cool acid. So we're going to hear what this sounds like. Um, you can use this thing as an oscillator too, right? So if you crank up the resonance, you'll notice that it is now an oscillator. And if we plug like a, you know, like a, like a, like a sequence in or something like that, Let's plug it into the CV. You can use it as kind of a sine wavy oscillator as well. Okay, cool. Um, so you can also do crazy things like plug your oscillator directly into the CV, which does cool, crazy things when the resonance is up. Let's change the... And that's audio going into the CD, which is just a lot of fun. It sounds really cool. Okay, but if we take that regular just oscillator signal coming out of the Erica Sense oscillator, plug it in, you kind of hear what that resonance does here. gets nutty on its own, but of course it's also just a cool sounding low pass. Oh man, that does sound cool, doesn't it? The band back. Okay, cool. Now we're going to take um, one of the envelopes out here of the MST dual envelope, put it into CV1 here. Making that real short here. Lengthen it up a little bit. Really okay, I also like taking, let's get something out of our um, a LFO into CB2. Obviously, you can hear the acid in here. Let's turn the frequency up a little bit. Really rhythmic, too. We're going to fast LFO. Let's go faster. Yeah, let's grab a sequence in there. Okay, 
So at any rate, I mean, that thing is a great, great, great project. I would want that one if I'm making some bass. I mean, pairing that additionally with the bass line that already has a filter is going to be a very, very cool setup here if you want to do some uh, very, very cool acid music, which I want to do. So anyway, thanks for checking it out. Of course, like I said, we've got kits, PCBs, and completed units, and it's definitely going to make your setup sound cooler.